Welcome everyone, the first way to boost gaming performance on your iPhone is to remove any case. So a case is going to trap the heat which is coming out of the back and as the tr uh, heat is trapped you're going to reach thermal throttling faster. On top of this, if you charge your phone the battery is going to get warm and that will increase the overall system temperature and so the CPU is going to get warmer as well. And so that means the device is going to thermal throttle, which is going to lower your FPS. Finally, this is the best way because those two ways are cool and all. But if you get an external cooler fan, then guess what? You can completely remove thermal throttling. So let me put my phone down. These are Black Shark coolers. I don't think any other company makes them. So this is the Black Shark cooler. It's just what it's called, like fun cooler. And this is a MagSafe one, but don't get hyped about MagSafe because the surface area of this cooler is tiny, so it won't do a great job. The ones you really want to buy are the Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro and the 3 Pro. The 3 Pro is the best, and if they release a 4, 5, 6, that's obviously going to be better. The problem is, I'd fried this cooler while preparing for this video because I forgot you can't, like, this is a 20, this, this requires 20 watts of power. I put 200 watts of power in this device. So this guy's fried. This is best cooler though. And this is the Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro. So we have here the Wildlife Extreme. And you can see these are the scores I've been getting, right? So this is the score without a cooler. You can see right here, 1790 best, lowest 1590. And this is a test with the cooler on but a case on, so that isn't very accurate. You can see a slight performance boost, but I'm going to run this test, no case on, so we can get the back of the phone called. And you're gonna notice, we're not just gonna get this score, we're gonna get this score, and it's not gonna go down, okay? So I'm going to plug this cooler into the charger, not a 200 watt charger, I can assure you, it is only 10 watts. And we're going to go to the benchmarks. We're going to run the 20 minute benchmark. And again, these are the results here. Let's run this benchmark. But this time, we have a cooler on the back of the device. And this is going to cool down the phone. And we should have, well, let's try that again. We should have sustained performance. I'm also going to charge the, the device because the other tests I was charging. And so we have heat coming from the battery, heat from the CPU, but we also have a cooler on the back. And so I'm going to cut to when the t once the test is done. This is a 20 minute stress test and let's see how things end up. All right, so the test has been completed and you can see the highest score 2283, the lowest score 1757. I feel like this score is an anomaly because you can see the other scores are like on a flat line. Stability 77%, but let's take a look at the scores here. 1590 without the cooler. 1790 the best with the cooler on the case 2104 best 1613 lowest you can see that's how it looks like here and then without a case and the cooler 2283 so you can see the score has gone up from 1790 to 2283 that's a big jump 1757 the lowest score so this is going to improve your performance with the phone cooler free you would have an even bigger improvement, believe me. But, um, you know, if you don't put it in a 200 watt power supply. So if you are planning on buying this, I do have an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you click that link, it won't cost you any more money to buy these coolers. But I will get like a 3% commission, so like 50p for every sale. And that will, that will greatly help support me if you click that. And if you buy anything from Amazon and you click that link, that will also help support me. So apologies if I didn't sound like too professional in this video. Um, you know, it's, it, this just takes ages to record and you know, just, I don't like it, but no one else has made videos on this stuff. So if you do appreciate it, please do drop a like. You can see the proof is in the pudding, 1590 to 1757, you know, 1790 to 2023. And um, yeah, bye-bye.